Hi everyone, you're with Tesla Tom. Thanks for joining us on Ludicrous Feed. Hope you're having a lovely day. Some good news from the press today. It looks like the Australian government is finally funding something to do with electric cars in this country. As you can see, the story was picked up by the Australian newspaper as well as other newspapers around the country. So it looks like Charge Fox is behind this $15 million project, of which the Australian government is funding $6 million of public money. Other sources also come from the NRMA, RACV, RACQ, RAC, RAA, RACT, Arena, Victorian government, car sales and Wilson Transformers. There will be 21 locations across the country, of which 18 will be on the east coast, from Brisbane to Sydney to Canberra to Melbourne to Adelaide. And then there'll be three on the West Coast in WA. Now the newspapers are calling these charges fast charges. One newspaper even called it ultra fast charger. So I can only assume that they will be rapid DC charges. They will all be apparently powered by renewable energy and will be operational by 2020. There are two locations currently under construction. One in Euroa in Victoria, which will have a solar plant and a battery on site and there's one in Bana Wafa North which is apparently on the border of New South Wales and Victoria. These are currently funded by the Victorian government to the tune of one million dollars. Presumably there will be CCS2 uh, plus or minus char demo standard much like the tritium charges we have currently in New South Wales and Queensland. Here are a couple of quotes from Darren Miller who is the chief executive at ARENA. ARENA stands for Australian Renewable Energy Agency he says, quote, This network will help alleviate that concern by giving motorists comfort. They can travel long distances. That concern, I assume, refers to range anxiety. EV charging networks are being rolled out in other countries and Australia needs to catch up to ensure that we can experience the same benefits of improved driving experience, lower operating costs and better environmental outcomes that electric vehicles offer. So what does the future hold for Australia in terms of electric cars? Well, currently less than 1% of all new car sales are electric vehicles. The Australian energy market operator forecasts that within 20 years, 50% of Australia's car fleet will be electric. The federal government reports that EVs will reach price parity with petrol cars by mid-2020s, and this will certainly help alleviate range anxiety having this new charging network funded by the Australian government. Alright guys, well there's some good news coming out of the Australian government finally with regards to electric vehicles. I'm hoping there'll be more good news in time to come, especially with the Australian Senate inquiry on electric vehicles coming out in December. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment below to tell me what you think. Tell me if that's good news. Tell me if you're encouraged by hearing this news and whether it will push you towards buying either a plug-in hybrid or an electric vehicle in the very near future. Alright guys, thanks for watching and uh, hopefully you're having a lovely day wherever you are in this world and as always, happy charging. Thanks for watching and thanks for being part of the energy revolution. If you haven't done so already, be sure to hit subscribe to keep up to date with our latest videos. If you're about to buy a Tesla, use our promo code on screen to score $100 in supercharging credit. Happy charging!